The company was developed in 2021. We do business based on three pillars. One is e-taxi, the other one is e-charge, and the third one is e-trate. As a startup business, it's very difficult to access financing. Microcredit was helping us a lot in this aspect. We are one of the first companies that they did a project finance for a startup. Typically, financing startups is challenging for banks. In this case, we were more than happy to finance the company because we tried and wanted to be at the forefront of introducing electric vehicles in our countries. And via the guarantee from MEGA, we are able to grant these type of loans to support these type of businesses. The product we have with MEGA is insurance of mandatory reserve. It releases capital, meaning it frees us capital, which enables us to focus on our core business, granting loans to SMEs. Innovation is really in the DNA of MEGA in the last 35 years. And every time there is a requirement in the market, we hear what the macroeconomic situation requires. So post the 2008 crisis, we realized that the banks were facing a credit crunch. If you are a bank in an emerging market, then according to the local regulations, you have to maintain mandatory reserves in the central bank. However, if you have, say, 14 subsidiaries across 14 countries, you must, according to banking regulations, keep a certain reserve at that level as well. That actually is a heavy burden on these banks. The capital optimization product was created so that we would give the parent company this guarantee, saying that if the central bank doesn't return the funds to the subsidiary, not to worry, we will return that. As a result, it freed up the capital, which they could then deploy again to the subsidiary and for the subsidiary then to own lend to SMEs and MSSMEs. What you're really ultimately doing is you're creating access to finance in these countries. More than 90% of our loan portfolio is with SMEs. So any release of mandatory reserve of, and any freeing up of capital directly benefits our SMEs. ProCredit agreed that any monies that were freed up at the parent company would be deployed to the subsidiaries itself. So although we had about 14 countries which were covered by MEGA, the ProCredit amounts that were released went into about 21 countries and thereby went further on to small businesses from there. So it was a very good project and a very landmark project from our end. Now, after we started operating, things are settling and business doing quite well. We developed an application. Now we have around 20,000 users. Electric Mobility, this type of company, stands for innovation, it stands for green transition, it stands for high quality service orientation. We just did not finance this startup, but we also financed more than half of taxi fleet in the capital of Kosovo, making the move from a fossil fuel-based transport to electric-based transport. Nowadays, you can see it in Pristina, um, more than half of the taxis are electric car taxis, and a large chunk of that is financed by ProCredit. The guarantee expired in 2020, but ProCredit found this to be a very, very valuable guarantee. So they came back to us, asked us to extend the tenor of the guarantee and to add on a few other countries, which we did because we found the development impact to be very good when we evaluated it. We save capital and this freed capital we can use to finance our clients. Beyond that, we define ourselves as an impact-oriented banking group. There's a strong alignment of interest or philosophy between what we're doing and what MEGA is supporting. 